Today we're going to take a ride with a seahorse. You need to turn your paper vertically so you'll have lots of room for your seahorse. And these are the suggested colors. Bright orange, brown, and a gold for the seahorse. And then your favorite uh, sea or ocean colors. There's a light blue, an aqua, and a green. Okay, pick up your brown pastel and turn it to where you have a point here. You can draw with a point. And we're going to start with the seahorse snout. Now the snout, if you look at pictures of a seahorse, looks a little bit like a trumpet. Here we go. There's the trumpet. And then we're going to have a seahorse eyebrow. And it'll come up and he has almost a little crown on top of his head. And then we'll keep going down almost in an S shape. All the way down, back around. And then he uses his little tail to help navigate himself. And it'll come back up. And he has a very proud chest up to his chin. And there we have our seahorse. He looks almost like a dragon. On the back of a seahorse, he has an almost transparent gill to help him to swim. We'll put that in. And then he does have some scales that go around his body. These help to see with your eyes that he does have a rounded shape. Okay? Now, let's give him a good brown eye so he can see what he's doing. Then pick up your orange. <clears throat> if you remember, you don't have to color in every bit of your seahorse because you can use your finger to magically help blend it. But try to stay in between the brown scales as you go down. This doesn't take the just a second to get him nice and colored, kind of orangey, okay? And take your finger and you can spread the orange to all parts that you want to, to color. And now your gold can really help give him a fine color. This is going to look great with the seawater because orange and aqua are complementary colors. We've talked about that before. That's, that, those are colors that are very pleasing to the human eye. Okay, we're just about finished with our seahorse color. Now if you look at an actual picture of a seahorse, he is darker than this, but we're going to have some artistic license with him. Let's get his little bit of a gill going back there. All right, now we're done with our seahorse, but we can't leave him here in the middle of this big white sheet of paper just floating in space. So pick up your favorite colors of seawater and let's turn your pastel on the side and let's get him into some water. Now if you remember, the further down you go in the ocean, the darker the water gets. The closer to the surface, the lighter it will get. So let's lighten up up here. Be sure to get some under his chin. You can take as much time with this or as little time as you like. You can also add little fish. Take your fingers, smooth it in. We're just about finished. I forgot my green, which adds a real good idea of depth that these seahorses might swim. And remember, to sign your name in the corner 
flip the picture over, name it, something like my seahorse, date it, today's date, and show it off to your friends. There you have a beautiful seahorse, and you are an artist.